Some modern cameras have the ability to record radiometric videos, called CSQ files, directly to the SD card. FLIR tools can be used to import and process these videos. FLIR tools can also process SEQ files recorded by FLIR Tools Plus and the Research IR software. The CSQ or SEQ recording will appear in the FLIR Tools library along with your images and reports. Simply double click on the file to begin processing the video. The toolbar at the bottom has a play button to replay the recording. You can click and drag this to quickly advance to any frame in the recording. You can also step forward and backward by one frame. The total duration of the recording is shown to the right, below the temperature scale. The timestamp for each individual frame is shown here. The 1x button controls the playback speed. At 1x, the recording will play back at the speed at which it was recorded. If you slide this to the right, it will play at 2, 4, 8, or 60 times the original recording speed. Sliding to the left of 1 will set it to replay at a fraction of the original speed. To the left of 0 will set it to play the recording in reverse. The clipboard button will export the recording as an AVI file for sharing with others. You have the option to include the measurements and the scale when exporting. The camera button will save the current frame as a radiometric JPEG image. This can be edited and processed using FLIR tools. CSQ and SEQ recordings are radiometric, meaning that temperature data for each pixel is saved with the recording. This allows you to adjust the scale, change the color palette, measure temperatures, and adjust the object parameters, just as if you were working with a JPEG. The measurement tools and other settings will remain as you play the recording and you can see the temperatures update in real time. If you right click on any measurement tool you can create a plot which will generate a graph showing how the temperature is changing over the duration of the recording. The graph will immediately begin plotting underneath the image without needing to play back the recording. Additional measurement functions can be plotted on the same graph. If you right-click on the graph, there are some different plotting methods that can be applied. If you click and drag on the graph, it will zoom in on that portion so you can have a closer look. To zoom out, right-click and select Show Whole Plot. The plot graph can be copied from FLIR tools as a picture or as temperature data. If you right click and copy picture, you can paste this into any program to see a snapshot of the graph. The copy data option will copy the graph data so you can paste this into Microsoft Excel. Each row in the Excel sheet represents a frame in the recording. The columns show the date, time, and temperature data for each tool being plotted.
If you right-click anywhere on the image, there is an Export to CSV menu. This allows you to export the entire image, or specific measurement tool data, to a CSV text file. In the case of an area or line, the CSV file will contain every pixel inside the area or along the line. With a CSQ or SEQ recording, it will batch export the data for every frame. The resulting file can be viewed in Microsoft Excel. The first column is the frame differentiator. The pixel data for each frame appears to the right. Once you are done processing the recording, click Save and Close to save changes and return to the image library.